Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to this uh, stash update. Here beside me, I have a pile of boxes that we are going to look into. Okay, let's start with this um, 112 scale Kawasaki Ninja um, from Tamiya. And uh, I bought this kit from um, a friend of mine who uh, he's, uh, needs more space and so he has started to, uh, to sell off his uh, stash. And uh, so I got this for a very, very good price. Okay. And um, <clears throat> it's a really beautiful kit. And um, I also decided to, um, this was not part of the, of the, of the deal when I bought it, <laughs> so I, I have added the, the fork set uh, for it myself. And I have also bought uh, a Rattle Can TS22 uh, paint for this kit. And uh, the, the only thing is that it didn't come with plastic bags around the sprues, but I have checked everything and I think it looks, it looks uh, really good. Um, so it, it hasn't been, there's no, not uh, any scratches or anything, and I think uh, it's complete, everything is like it should be. So this is something that I, uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to build. I have a special place in my heart for Kawasaki motorcycles because I uh, used to own one uh, back in the days. Okay, so here's uh, another Kawasaki but um, <clears throat> a different type of vehicle. So I, I bought this from uh, the same friend uh, that I bought the motorcycle from and I also got this for a really really good price. And um, yeah there are lots of um, inbox reviews of this kit uh, out on the internet so um, I'm not going to show all the details and all the parts here but um, I think one interesting thing is that when they have uh, Tamiya has shipped uh, um, clear uh, one half of the fuselage is clear but uh, there are th there is a texture so it's it's not actually super clear so it's not uh, easy to look through it so um, Really, I'd, I don't understand the purpose of, of this part in this kit, but uh, anyway, uh, I will um, I will definitely not use that. I will build it as a, as, no, not as a cutaway or a, a see-through. I will build it in, in this scheme and yeah, like it's supposed to be. So uh, this is something that I'm looking forward to do. Uh, as you know, I love... Uh, um, Japanese World War II aircraft, so uh, this is will be a really nice build, I think. Okay, the next one is the P1 Ventura in 172 scale. Uh, this kit is actually a payment or a gift from a fellow modeler. Uh, I helped him with uh, some printing, some 3D printed parts. Um, and uh, he asked me for if I wanted any money for it for, for that, but I said that uh, uh, that he could uh, see if he could find a, a kit that I he thought that I would uh, uh, enjoy to build, and that was and a kit that wasn't too expensive. So uh, so um, if he if he could find something that was, uh, I would say. 5-10 euros or something like that. That's, I'm perfectly fine with that as a compensation for for my work. So uh, I got this and I think that is uh, actually a <coughs> really nice build. This is, will, will be a fun one. And uh, <coughs> I especially love the nose art, Mrs. Flack. I think that's uh, hilarious. And um, um, the kit itself looks uh, quite okay I think um, it's it's not uh, it's, it's probably go together uh, nicely I hope and 
and if it doesn't then I have to fix that <laughs> so, but that's no problem so uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to build this one in the in the future okay so the next one is also 172 scale um, from Acer and uh, that is a French manufacturer I uh, never heard of them before um, but I was really curious about this kit. I think it's a fantastic looking aircraft. It's a sort of mix between a Sabre and a, and a flying barrel. And um, uh, the subject is the SMB2 Super Mystère B2 Late. Uh, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> I uh, actually tried to Google that, but uh, I couldn't figure out what the Google lady was saying. So uh, if there are any French people out on the channel, uh, sorry for butchering your language. I, uh, uh, French is not, not my um, even third or fourth uh, language, so I just knew very little of it. Okay, so uh, I don't know much about this aircraft, but uh, I will, when I start to build, I will do uh, some proper research to uh, to catch up on that and if we look at the kit itself I think and that is something that is really interesting I think that it's a kit with lots and lots and lots of parts and very very fine details I uh, I will probably do uh, an inbox review proper inbox review on this and uh, after I've done some some basic research on the, on the aircraft itself but uh, I think this looks really really nice um, so um, I'm really looking forward to uh, take a closer look at uh, at this kit so okay here's another 172 scale uh, the Saab SF37 Viggen uh, the, the photo uh, reconnaissance uh, version of, of the Viggen and I have just recently released uh, an inbox review of this kit so uh, if you want to see what the kit looks like and uh, um, please uh, check out the, the review okay so uh, this kit I will build this at some point with uh, I will probably do it in this uh, in this uh, gray uh, Lovis uh, camo and I will probably also uh, try to 3d print the um, the different um, um, pods and, and stuff for, for the loadout uh, because I'm not so interested in paying basically what the kit costs in additional resin just to, to have a full uh, proper loadout, loadout for this, uh, for this uh, model so uh, I will probably do that as a separate uh, um, build series or possibly a, a, a section where I do the design and print and yeah, do the 3D stuff and uh, so, so that will probably be a, an, a, an episode on its own so um, I will look forward to that uh, somewhere down the line I don't cannot promise I will do it uh, uh, next year but maybe that depends a little bit on the what other builds that I have committed to to start. So, so let's see if I will do that uh, next year or maybe the year after that. Okay, so here is something that I received uh, just recently, uh, a week ago or so, and it is the Russian new Russian stealth um, fighter or fifth generation fighter, the Su. 57 from Svesta and uh, it's a 172 scale but it's quite big this is uh, quite a big aircraft and um, I apologize for the the box it looks a little bit messed up um, it uh, had a rough ride to uh, uh, <laughs> to uh, to my place so to speak so it got uh, really messed up in in the in the delivery and um, but luckily Svesta has double boxes 
uh, and that kind of uh, saved the whole uh, whole thing because one side here was completely smashed and uh, the the box had uh, had collapsed completely and um, the sprue seems to have survived quite well there is only th this sprue that is just a little bit bent and you can see there are some yeah maybe you don't cannot see that but there are some stress marks on the on the plastic so uh, but everything seems to be um, unharmed no plastic was harmed so to speak so um, I'm not uh, particularly upset about that that is yeah stuff like that happen so um, this is something that um, I will put in the stash for now. Um, I have uh, I have another um, the T50 uh, Park uh, FA uh, that is the prototype version of this. Uh, I have that in the stash already. Um, the hobby was kit, and I have bought a lot of aftermarket and stuff for that. So I will probably build that one first before I build this one. But this looks like a really really nice kit as well. Okay, so this is something completely different. Um, uh, this kit was a prize in, uh, that I won in the uh, summer sci-fi SIG uh, that was put up on uh, International Scale Modeler Forum. And uh, I ended up in fourth place and I got this, which is, uh, I think, amazing. So uh, that was... a uh, a really really um, nice build with a lot of generous prices and uh, all around fantastic uh, results by by the the guys who won the first second third place they they had really outstanding uh, models so and then it was really fun to to participate in that anyway so uh, <laughs> I also got a little something uh, extra in this box uh, this one <laughs> I think that's that's really nice he uh, can dot Vader kind of protected the kit uh, during uh, transit so nothing bad happened to it and uh, it arrived in uh, in perfect shape so I guess that worked okay so uh, so yeah this is my first bandai kit and uh, what can I say I mean uh, this is absolutely amazing quality um, all across the board when it comes to the to, to the plastic and, uh, and everything uh, the instructions yeah I think they I can I can understand that they are not super uh, intuitive but uh, I think I will manage <laughs> Okay, so this is a 144 scale Tomcat from Revell. I got this kit from um, <clears throat> from my kids as a for this uh, day present, and uh, I will probably build it and uh, give it to to um, to one of them as a, as a present or a sort of gift back. So uh, this is actually a really nice kit. Um, Despite the small scale and everything, I think there are a lot of details. I don't know how accurate they are though, but um, uh, I think that um, there are there are some uh, aftermarket parts available for this kit, so it's actually possible to pimp the cockpit. And uh, I think there are there are decals uh, set available as well. Uh, but I will probably stick to the to the Jolly Rogers uh, scheme I think that is sort of a, a classic one and uh, so I, I don't know when I will build this this will probably be a sort of weekend build or, or something like that to uh, and I will probably build it gear up I guess and put it on a, a small 
small stand or something. So okay. So the last two things I want to show are these books. I um, I got really really impressed with uh, HMH publications and uh, their book on on the Viggen. Uh, that is part of, of the special hobby uh, duo pack, vegan duo pack. So I uh, I bought these two bo two books, one on the Fulcrum and one of the Eurofighter Typhoon, because I think they are great looking aircrafts, both of them. And um, as the <coughs> same level as with the Viggen, there are a lot of information and detailed photos and a lot of really, really nice pictures and and um, background text. So it's it's. Um, I think these books are really, really nice to have <coughs> as part of of your reference. Um, um, Sort of a reference library for your uh, for your models. The Eurofighter Typhoon is uh, is also a, a similar nice uh, book with a lot of information and details about different things, stuff that I I didn't know about <laughs> on the Eurofighter. Um, and um, I think this book is a really really um, good asset in uh, for for building uh, the typhoon as well so uh, that's it guys um, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video so take care and uh, happy modeling bye